Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. Another unboxing today. Yesterday, my Pros Kit SS331 desoldering pump arrived. So I'm looking forward to checking that out. Unfortunately, when they packaged it, they put tape all over the box, so I, I can't show you the original box. It's, uh, it's obscured. But we'll, uh, we'll pop him out and we'll have a look. Now I paid 240 Aussie bucks to have this guy delivered. Uh, I believe I bought it at AliExpress. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did buy it at AliExpress. <coughs> 240 Aussie bucks delivered. About 150 US dollars. Uh, it can do 160 degrees Celsius to 480 degrees Celsius, which is, for our American friends, 320 degrees Fahrenheit to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's basically all there is to know about this guy, so uh, let's pop him out of the box and have a look at him. Here we are on the bench. That out of the way. A bit of glare there. Can't do too much about that. Here we are. In a box. So we've got a, a manual. That looks good. Put him in the corner. An old bag. I've got a place for my bag, so I'll put it in the bag. Bag box. Bit of foam. As you know, I keep my foam. Oh wow, look at this thing, it's huge. Here's the, uh, the power cable. AU cable! Score! Usually I get some weird, you know, like European thing, but uh, not today. That's great. Of course, I got a million and one of these things, so. You know, oh look, it's good, it's. Uh, it's sort of inverted, so it, it goes that way. That's handy. That'll be that'll be useful. I'm very pleased about that. That's good. Always good to have something that's a bit different, just in case you need to go the other way. All right. So there's some stuff in there. Ah, uh, yes. When I ordered this thing, it said with tools. So I've got it with tools, and here are the tools. Excellent. Like there's more tools. Looks like we have more tools. Let's get this guy out. I might just put him out of the way for a minute. And while we have a look at the other bits and pieces, I got uh, cardboard and such all over this guy. Ah, look, there's a. Um, yeah, we'll have a look at that in a minute. It's a uh, filter. I suppose you uh, little bits of foam all over this thing. Anyway, that looks like pretty good now. All right, and a few more tools. Oh, that's heavy. All right. So there's our foam for the foam box. And our bag for the bag box. If you guys aren't interested in that, that's not interesting. This. Ah, I see. Cool. It's a, it's a, a quite solid, this base. It's really heavy. It'd be interesting to know actually what it weighs. I do have some scales, but they're all the way over there. All right. It's good, I don't really need an extra one of these, but... Uh, oh, maybe I do actually, yeah. Alright. Well, that's good. And here's the uh, other bits and pieces. There's little bits of foam everywhere. Alright, let's pop this guy open. Uh, oh! Ah! They really loaded us up with tools. That's pretty cool. So, uh, what do we got? Yeah. All sorts of stuff. Oh, no. It fell off. Oh, yeah, that's 
してて。It locks and unlocks. That's great. So you pop that up and it unlocks and then you can pull the bits out, I guess. And you press it in and it locks again. Well, that's pretty cool. It's got a little uh, cap. Okay. So there we go. It goes onto the base station. There's、uh, a solder, there's a, a pump. Okay. So, the pump and the, and the power. That's pretty cool. Now, let's see. Okay, we've got a bunch of spare filters, some tweezers, ah, some pokeries. They'll come in handy. This, ah, that's good. I'm actually planning to keep this guy just under my bench down here. Um, so he'll, he will live in this, so I'm going to use that.、Uh, so, that's pretty neat. Now, I'm going to need some sort of a screw to put that together. Presumably, they gave me the screw that I need. Although, maybe it, maybe it just sits in there, doesn't screw it. Oh no, there's the screw. Rip it off. Well, we might as well put that together now, huh? We've got that one sussed. Oop, I just lost. Ah, there we go. I'm not sure what、um, that bit's for. Ah,、oh, maybe that way. Yeah, right. Let's install that, huh? So, let's put him over there. And.、Uh, Oh, look, they gave me a knife. That's nice. Ripper. Very handy. So, and a brush. Okay. A brush and a knife. And these are pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to use them for sure. Yeah, they're good. So,、uh, knife, brush. And、uh, tweezers.、I'll、put those over in the, in the container. Now, these are tips and filters. I need that. Let's pop that.、Uh... So we've got the, the filter there, and there's a spare one of those there, so that's good. I don't know what that,、uh, what that bit's for. I've got this thing, I don't know what he's for.、Uh, what about that? that? Well, maybe. I'm not sure. We might need to read the manual for that one. Alright. So, uh, let's uh, undo. So, if I can just show you that, maybe put it up that way, huh? Yeah, put that on there. Well, that's not as easy as you thought it might have been. There we go. Yeah, right. And then this guy. No way. There we go. Screw, screw, screw. Nice one. Oh. It's got an automatic sleeping function. That's good to know. Ah, there we go. There's the, the other filter. So we've got three little filters in the bag and one big filter. The big filter goes here. And the little filter goes here. And you can see them get all filled up with solder in here, presumably. 
That's pretty cool. Let's try opening it. Press the lock, and then ah, then you you can pull this back this way. There we go. Look like ah, oh, and there's uh, some plastic bits in there. All right. Okay, that's good. Pretty happy with that. I've just got the mystery, the mystery washer. This guy. Not sure where he goes. So we'll have a look in the manual for that. Before we do that, let's finish assembling the, uh, the base. So we just need a screwdriver. Screwdrivers everywhere. Here's a screwdriver. I'll pop him open. that. Pretty happy with that indeed. Now, I'm not really big on the old sponge. I might, I might put some, uh, ah, uh, I've got the sponge. The other option is, uh, one of these guys. Let's stick one of those in there. What do you reckon? Maybe. We'll start with that and see how we go. Should I take the sponge out? Maybe. Or maybe I want to use the sponge. Uh, it's got a little bit of sticky tape on the bottom of it. Interesting. I'm going to take that off actually. A little bit of double sided tape at the bottom of the sponge. Get rid of that. All right, I'm going to put this sponge in the drawer. There we go, get the sponge up the back there. And we'll put that there. There we go. And uh, these are leftover soldering bits. I'm going to put them in the soldering stuff. And I've got to figure out what that wash is for. Oh look, more tools. These guys really spared no expense. Okay, cool. So, what do we got? We got a suction cap. I don't know what you use that for. What do you use a suction cap for? What do you need a suction cap? All right. Of little screwdrivers. Oh, look at that one. That's tiny. That's a, a, a tiny Torx bit. A very tiny Torx bit. Interesting. And that's uh, that's a double zero at least. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, chuck them in the screwdrivers. I keep some screwdrivers there. All right, little bits of uh, plastic for, for lifting things. Pretty handy, I guess. Keep them in the thing as well. And these are pretty handy. They're like plectrums. They're good for prying things open. <clears throat> a bunch of those over here. Where do I keep my plectrums? I might keep them in here. What do you reckon? Yeah, that's a good spot for that. And this is a this is a Xbox microchip. Play with that again one day. Ah, and these guys. Oh, look, they've got. Uh, they're not. They're not all the same. I thought it was three of the same, but it's not three of the same. It's uh, three um, different <coughs> uh, cleaners with. Uh, oh, how fascinating! Different sizes. So there's. Uh, and the size isn't labelled, but it's pretty easy to see which is which. Big, medium, and small. Can you see that? Big on the left, then medium in the middle, and this guy is the small one. 
That's pretty cool. I suppose we can keep that there. That's a pretty reasonable place to keep those. Now, I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to use a different one. And I've got to figure out where to keep this guy. I think it might live here. Maybe. Or maybe it'll live over there. Yeah, I think it will. I'm going to keep him. Oh, i got another one of these. This, this is spare as well. Would it work? Kind of. Oh, there we go. It's got a little uh, bit that holds it in. That's good. That's definitely the one I want to use. Alright. Well, the plan is to put this guy over here. Yeah, that's good. So he's going to live there pretty happily and he can go back where he was. And uh, my plan is to keep this guy under the bench. So now you won't be able to see, but you can watch this thing go away. It goes in there. And that's it. That's where he'll live. And when I want to use him, I get him up. I bang, 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 bang. And then I put him back. And we're happy, happy, happy. So yeah, I think that's going to work out really quite well. Happy with that. Just got to figure out what this wash is for. That'll probably be in the manual. Let's have a quick th flip through the manual together. <clears throat> what have we got? Alright, this is the Pros Kit. SS331 LCD desoldering station. Users manual, first edition. Copyright 2021. Pro Kits Industries. Huh? They got Pro Kits and Pros Kit. They don't know what. They don't know what they're doing. Can't get their own name right. Isn't that silly? All right. Well, this is in English. And. Uh, Looks pretty solid to me. Oh, there we go. So it's English in the front and Chinese in the back. Fair enough. And the number of English pages is seven. So it's a seven page manual. Uh, it's got some details on how to replace the heating bit. It's pretty comprehensive, isn't it? Let's see if there's a. Um, what do we got? We got the description, technical specification, operating instructions, temperature, safety instruction, caution, desoldering gun maintenance, nozzle, heating element, trigger, glass tube, back holder, knob, hose, cord. Interesting. There we go. So there's the uh, cleaning pin. Glass tube, aluminium piece, filter. That's good. Press, press. Very good. Now, the nozzle hole will get enlarged with corrosion. The nozzle hole will get enlarged with corrosion, but such phenomena cannot be noticed easily. Therefore, if desoldering efficiency goes down and all other parts appear to be okay, the nozzle is probably eroded and should be replaced. There you go. So it looks like there's uh, different size nozzles. They've got some troubleshooting information, checking the heating element, replace the existing element. All right, well, I'm not saying where um, it, there's no explodey like uh, picture that shows me where the uh, um, washer goes. Now, it came. Uh, <clears throat> let's have a look at this guy again. So this piece had this with it. Um, I reckon we might put him in there, huh? Oh, look, there we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, good. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's pretty much... Likely, I reckon. 
screws. There we go. Screw, 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 screw. There we go. Nice and tight. Hands on. Nice and tight. Like a tiger. Tight like a tiger. Alright, so there's the Pro's Kit manual. This guy, I think we're ready to plug him in. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to um, I'm gonna redo this one. There we go. Alright. Just want to um, make sure that we're, we're happy and it's not all uh, twist, twisted. Uh, stretch him out a bit. Alright. Well, I'll put him back on. Now, yeah, that's good. All right. Well, should I put it power it up now? I suppose I should, huh? You guys want to see me power this thing on? I just need to get uh, a different. Um, different cables, so uh, let's do that. I've got one of these here. Uh, it's a different end, you see. And I'll be happy with that one. Alright, well. I think it'll be long enough. So, let's, uh, Put this guy in there. Alright. Pros kit SS331. Alright. Now, can you see what I'm doing? I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll put this guy in there. Get the power, so we'll just put power in here. Let's do you. I'll tell you what we might do together. So we'll just uh, power on this guy and backspace, and this is pro. Uh, pros kit. Shall we call it? Oh yeah, pros kit SS dash three three one. Okay, pros kit SS thirty one, and we're gonna hit uh, print, and we're gonna do two copies. Now, if you haven't got one of these, get yourself one of these. They're cheap and they're excellent. This one is a brother, uh, PT-D210. It's a brother, PT-D210. And uh, it's really good. I have also had this one, which is the brother PT-H105. Now, this is pretty good. But this is only just a tiny little bit more expensive and it's heaps better because the keyboard's better, it's got a shift key. Uh, symbols and such on this is a real hassle. Symbols on this is really easy peasy. So definitely get yourself um, a brother um, PT-D210. If you've got an electronics lab, you want to have a label maker. Um, and, and if you want to get a label maker, this is the one to get. Now I just uh, I just printed out this um, <coughs> label so that we can label the uh, the power, and then I'll know um, what I'm powering up when I go to flip the power switch, which is a pretty useful thing to know. So. Can 
you see what I'm doing there? Oh look, I was trying to show you what I'm doing and I stuck it all together. Can't take me anywhere. Alright, that looks about right to me. Ripper. Alright, so that's my pros kit, SS331. It's like SS, it's like a, uh, a ship. Then they call the ships SS. Alright. So. <clears throat> Alright, well we're plugged in. Um, but I think we need to throw the power switch on the back. So, where's that? There it is. Okay, up he comes, and uh, the temperature is rising, it's set at 160 degrees, that's pretty cool. We turn the power up and down, and then there's a, a star, a star will change it between um, uh, Celsius and uh, uh, Fahrenheit, interesting. So that's what the star button does. So there's up and down for the temperature and there's a star to change the unit. And apart from that, there doesn't seem to be many other options. Oh shit. <laughs> I forgot to take the cap off before I, uh, I turned it on. So lucky we figured that out. I don't think I'm going to be using this cap. I, I think that's a problem waiting to happen, isn't it? Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to put this in my soldering stuff drawer, which is over here. Hopefully I remember what it is. Okay. Oh, there we go. So you press the button, and it starts to um, starts to pump. Okay. And when it pumps, there's a light on the front of the device that turns on. Interesting. All right. Now I think we're waiting for this to uh, to melt. I don't really know how it works. How does it work? I'm expecting to see... I don't know how to use this thing. I've never used one before. So I was expecting to see a hole there. Oh, but there doesn't seem to be a hole there. Put him away for a minute and I'll get the other um, pieces. I think that it's just um, uh, sealed, so I have to melt out the, uh, the the tip so that I can um, so that I can pump stuff out. I think we don't want it at uh, 160 degrees. I think we want it much higher than that. I'm going to put it up to. Um, I'm going to put it up to 350. Three fifty is my go-to soldering temperature. Apparently anything higher than 380 degrees Celsius, which is about uh, 700 Fahrenheit. Anything over that. Um, oh, there we go, yeah. Alright. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay, cool. So that was just... Uh, a sealed tip, and uh, and when I pulled that, look at that, there it is. So you can see the uh, the bit at the back there. All right, this this looks pretty good to me. That's pretty good to me. That's nice and hot. So I've got it set up like this, and clean, 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 clean. Pretty happy about that. That's going to work okay, isn't it? Clean, clean, clean. And then I think when it comes time to put him away. I might tin him, what do you reckon? Tin? Because it does seem to like, um... It does seem to like the, uh... Okay, that's good. Yeah, alright. So I'm not sure how big these various pieces are. Um... They don't seem to be labelled. Maybe I'll be able to measure them with my uh, 
measuring to all my calipers. Shall we give it a go? Why not, huh? This is a bit hot. Maybe we shouldn't do it while it's hot. Turn him on. On we go. On. There we go. And zero. There we go. Alright. So. There we go. Three mil. Let's have a look at the other one, huh? Two and a half mil. And this one. Three and a half mil. Alright. It's like two and a half, three, three and a half. Fair enough. <clears throat> so they weren't labelled, but you can kind of figure out what they are. This is the tip from earlier. A fluff on him. Yeah, maybe I will use the tip. The tip. It did say it could get corroded, didn't it? So let's keep it in the tip. Why not? So get rid of the clean. Like that. And what if we stick it in the tinny? Yeah, there we go. That tends nicely. And then uh, off. How do we turn off? Let's do it down here. All right. Yeah, that's good. So I'll just uh, I'll just tin the tip like that um, before I put him away, and uh, and that should keep it in good working order. This is my tip tip tinner. Do you see that? Tip tinner. Uh, Thermaltronics. There you go. So uh, that's pretty good. We'll put the uh, the three. 0.5 and the 2.5 tips and the spare filters. Actually, I've got it came with spare filters, which is good, but I actually bought some extra ones as well. So I've got plenty of those um, for when I need them. And here's the only other thing that we didn't completely do we, we didn't have a look at our tools. Yeah, they look pretty good, don't they? It's all in uh, Japanese. That's good. I always like having Japanese tools. Japanese make good stuff, don't they? So, uh, let's pop these guys out. We've got the uh, chip hold, needle, remover, hook, fork, reamer, scraper, knife, and brush. And our um, Japanese friends spelt brush with an A. So they didn't get that right. But uh, I don't think I'd be able to spell brush in Japanese. So I, you know, people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. I'm going to keep this. I'll never be able to read it, but uh, I'll put it in my... Uh, I'll put it in my electronics notebook. Let's flip you over. Let's flip you over there. And I'll show you my electronics notebook. It's caffeinating. Now. <clears throat> this is the power cord that it came with. All right. Now down here is where I keep that, and uh, yeah, this is my uh, folder for my electronics bits and pieces, and this is electronics bits and pieces. <clears throat> so what's a chip hold? It's interesting, I've never seen a chip hold before. Uh, let's have a look. What do we got? Chip hold. Ah. Interesting. You can hold down chips, huh? Yeah, okay, cool. I 
I wish they wouldn't give you the brush with the brush on both ends because there's no good way to store it, is there? Like that way or that way? Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, it hooks and all sorts of bits and pieces. Anyway, we'll put those in here. They'll be there when we need to use them. And this guy is just going to live down here. Now I've got a massive wad of blue tack. I think, has that cooled down? It's pretty cool. Alright, so I'm going to put it there, 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 and there. And then we'll just put this guy, um, hopefully relatively securely, um, down here under the uh, bench. Alright. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. Let's put it back over there. Now. Go. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty good. Maybe I'll put it. Yeah, try and put it in there a bit better. Yeah. I don't know how good the blue tack idea really is. Anyway. One, two, three, four. Alright, got alligator leads in there. Yeah. That's not so bad. Alright. Well, <clears throat> I think that concludes our demo. Put that back on the tip there. I have to remember to take him off when I heat him up. So, that was the unboxing of our Pros Kit SS331 LCD desoldering station. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.